Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Merlin. Last episode, we took a trip to the Crystal Cave. Arthur was healed, but uh, Merlin saw some potential futures that he unknowingly just kept enacting. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna almost die again. But he saved her, but I don't think she cares because she found out that she is Uther's daughter. But he's not going to announce that. And I think she's coming for the, crown, for the crown now. So not only does Uther need to watch his back, Arthur needs to watch his. And they have no idea. It's getting pretty bad. But uh, this next episode is called The Changeling. That sounds like some kind of creature. So I don't know if we're going to go into plot. But uh, let's get into it. Are you a changeling? Oh, and that baby. That was 20 years ago. Are you that baby? This show has got to stop. <laughs> Beautiful, charming, witty, strategic. Are you strategic. Strategic. I've always thought so. You, you want them to get married. you strategic, not Princess Elena. Oh. And Merlin, it'd be good if the bags arrived before they did. I, I would pop him one one time. He expects me to marry Princess Elena. Marry? Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to. I wasn't. No, married. you were. You were. No. Perhaps you're more uncommon than you think. Mm hmm. Or bad breath, for example. Damn. Excuse me. Boarding table manners. Uh, now hang on a minute. Good sense of humor. No, no, you're right. You've nothing in common. <laughs> you may one day be a husband, but more importantly, you will one day be king. But I have no feelings for it whatsoever. And I would encourage you to find some. <sighs> yeah, that's never mattered. Are you causing this to happen? Oh my goodness. This poor girl. Oh. Why are you pink and they're blue? He has no idea that a fairy lives inside her. Just waiting to emerge. But what? that cannot happen until her marriage to Arthur is complete. Oh my goodness. And it will be soon, I promise. She got no choice in the matter. Sort of like Arthur and his marriage. Oh, please. This is something I can actually do. Very well. Apparently, my mother was an excellent horsewoman. I never met her. I never met mine either. I often wonder if I'm like her. Hope I don't take after my father entirely. Oh, you don't. You don't. But I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. You should. <laughs> Again. You're not that bad. So fast. I thought you were eager for some tableau. <laughs> Nobody likes a clever clogs, Merlin. I had a lovely time. Me too. <laughs> See you soon, I expect. She's also a bit clumsy. I don't know. She's fine. I'm gonna avoid in my gaze. Uh, my gaze isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I thought I'd move a bit closer. Uh oh. All the better to appreciate the eh? Oh, uh, yes, is not what you see. <laughs> Come on, girl, I'm trying to take up for you. Spirit child. If That's Arthur's true. got half a brain, he'll recognize that. If he doesn't have a brain. Well, you could always marry him for his brawn. <laughs> but to make this work. He's a lot. For father's sake, I know how important it is to him. <gasps> Our little secret. <laughs> what is she going to do with the frog? <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Ew. Boy, they, they, uh, 
love to do gross out shit, man. They really do. I wanted to inquire whether Princess Elena would like a perfume concocting. You were looking for me. <laughs> you better go with it. I was. I understand. Why don't we make sweet perfume together? Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew! I think Elena may be a changeling. Yes, changeling you got it. inhabited by a fairy at birth. You cannot marry someone. I don't love you can and you will you want to say anything about that with Gwen right there this poor girl oh not your smoothest move Merlin wouldn't like to be in Arthur's shoes stop Maybe. you are stirring the pot I know it's hard to believe, but he may not have a choice. Even if it isn't what he wants. Even if his heart belongs to another. What did Gwen ever do to you? She has a good heart. As do you. Well, say something then. We both know it can't be. Please tell me you fixed the potion. I have a very bad feeling about this. Witches of Merida are the worst respirators I've known. Can I ask? No! Listen, I would like to ask you to do me the honor of being my wife. I got it! Grown in Boggy and Marshy terrain. In the middle of Boggy and Marshy terrain? <laughs> right in the middle. You did yeah, it! Good job. I have been there with you every second of the way. You have been there because we have chosen to keep you there. If the changing is them? discovered, Merlin, <laughs> soon he will regret the day I ever heard his name. Let him learn. I hope he's crappy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Got it. Uh oh, what's that? Please tell me that wasn't all of it. No. Damn it. You gotta go back out there. I don't think I've ever been so happy. Uh, there's one more thing. Still gotta wear I'm going to get Elena to drink it with Grunhilde around. I think I might know a way. Gaius? <laughs> Your turn, bud. If it seems she is overpowering me, I will just watch and wait. You will <laughs> Let us never speak of it again. Stronger kingdom than he's wrong because you may be destined to rule Camelot, but you have a choice. 
tell him. Come on, Arthur. Do do? Oh, you're gonna jilt her at the altar? I feel bad, but I don't think she cares. What do you think? You look good. Beautiful. No other words for it. Beautiful. Oh, any you say nay? Nay. Nay. As we gather here today, we are all witness for this right. Wait. Oh, thank you. Do you produce it before your feelings? You're clearly not ready to be king. When I'm ready to be king, I'll be a much better king for the support and strength of a woman I love. As it should be. Can't imagine what's happened to Grunhilda. She wouldn't have been a bad choice if you had no choice. If you ever want to be beaten in a horse race, <laughs> you need to find me. Now you gotta do the actual hard part. So, and so I'm you look still when. a single man. Indeed. Alright, well, this was silly and goofy in the way that Merlin can be sometimes. But uh, not quite as gross as I thought it was going to get. Uh, so I'll take that one. <laughs> the, uh, what is her name? Miriam? I love her. She was fun as the pixie. <laughs> and uh, the changelings were not cool. I mean, that was a long con of theirs to wait 20 years but uh not cool to take away her life basically i really liked elena she was uh different in a way that you don't get to see a lot of princes be port portrayed and uh, i felt bad that she didn't get that part of her life to herself she had a changeling inside of her but she seems happy and i'm glad they didn't get married obviously that would not have been for love and I'm honestly surprised that the pushback that Arthur received wasn't that bad, but he still has to do the whole thing of saying it's, well, I actually do want to marry someone for love and it is a servant girl. That's not going to go over it as easily, I think. But uh, the hope's still there for them, obviously. And uh, the, <laughs> the stuff of the pixie and Gaius were, was the best part of this episode. It was so funny seeing Gaius so uncomfortable. <laughs> he didn't want them to speak of it. <laughs> Merlin was really good here. He, you know, he, he was zapping with that staff. He did a good job. And also gave really good advice to Arthur. Which he needed to hear. And I think that helped him make the decision very last minute on the throne. Or during the ceremony to call it off, which needed to happen. But uh, yeah, this was pretty lighthearted. And uh, Elena's dad seemed pretty great too. So I like that they portrayed them in a, in a good way. And even if it, you know, watching Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, you see why these arranged marriages happened and I think if you had to marry somebody I think she would not have been the worst call you know comparatively so uh I hope we it'd be cool to see her again I really liked her I like how she was she had a lot of spunk I'll say that and I'm glad she gets to be free to be who she really is which is really good and uh oof, that makeup for what they call her Grunhilda the pink and the moles and the nose. No, thank you. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> but she's always a good time. And she was really funny here. Really liked her and guys. That was so funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad Arthur got a win against his dad, even though his dad didn't push up back very much. But, you know, it's just another indicator of what a good King Arthur will be. We had a little bit with Morgana trying to meddle but nothing too bad, even though I don't like her being someone who would be nasty towards Gwen. Like, especially when they had such a good friendship. And just because she's got beef with the crown doesn't mean she has to be shitty to everyone. Unless she knows that Gwen is friendly with Merlin, which they are. But, like, Gwen doesn't know the score here. Leave her alone. I'm surprised Morgana didn't do more because this seems like it would shore up Arthur's claim to the throne and 
I know she wants to get in between that, but uh, she was just very much a side character here. It was really about this ridiculous story, so we'll go with it, okay? But yeah, okay episode, but I left. <laughs> the guy's stuff got me really good, so I'll take it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.